I'm not gonna lie, not too many shirts be offending me when I walk past and see them. I do got this one shirt that says, like a good neighbor, stay over there. You know, all the moms be laughing at it when I wear it in the grocery store. But other than that, I don't really know what offensive t-shirts look like. So we're about to see. Attention! We all want attention. But how do you get it when you're talentless? Simple, by wearing a provocative shirt. Not like the mm. thick girl at the bar and all eyes are on you. So if you want people to... Hold on, why the thick girl? It's simple, by wearing a provocative shirt. Not like the thick girl at the bar. No. The thick girl got black skin, white boobs. What is this? What is this? All eyes are on you. So if you want people approaching or avoiding you, then you're going to need a shirt that offends everybody. <laughs> Starting off with three things every guy likes. Doggy, doggy, mm. and of course, doggy. <laughs> Do you like how our back is arched? That's attention detail, fellas. Imagine showing up to the funeral with this gem on, pissing off your uncle, That's crazy. and making your cousin laugh. Makes you wish your aunt died sooner. Now, speaking of dogs, my next design is probably the most f***ed up and true thing I've ever said, which is, best part of a dog, they can never say no. <laughs> Bro, that, that, that shirt gonna ring off in the furry community, boy. <laughs> Look at his little face. The panic, the fear. Oh, it's gonna be hard to call the cops when you don't have thumbs, am I right? Who hasn't looked at a corgi butt and said, damn, how could I resist your honor? I mean, look at it. Oh, Besides, sometimes when a man gets lonely, and I mean real lonely, a dog can, um, fill the void. Do what? Catch my drift. All it takes is some peanut butter, a locked door, and patience. Let him come to you. The trick is making him want it. Now, what if your kink is making people suffer? Well, you'll love my next design. Think where your tongue is. Go ahead. Think about it. Can't stop moving it, In right? my mouth? Where was it before I mentioned it? Was it at the top or bottom? Or bro, that's a fact, bro. Listen, listen. My wisdom tooth is coming in. I'm getting it taken out Monday, bro. And so I keep doing this thing with my tongue. And then I was, I was thinking, like, how did I keep my tongue before my wisdom tooth came in. Is it in the right spot? Was my mouth closed? Or why can't I stop thinking That's about a fact. this? Well, now you can torture everyone with a subtle yet tasteful day ruiner. Now, what if you're not a sociopath but still want people to stay away from you? Well, you'll love my next design. I don't wash my hands. <laughs> That, what is no. that? Is that what I think it is? Maybe. Do you really want to get close enough to find out? <laughs> yeah, I showed this to a friend and he said it looked mm. like a gay Italian saying hello. <laughs> which, which is not wrong. Although I always thought a gay Italian hello was having their gold chain tea bag you. Speaking of sticky stuff, my next shirt is probably the most relatable one called Eat Fap Game Repeat. <laughs> this is True. Close to home for some of y'all. Let your homies know they're not alone. I mean, in a way they are, but at least you're sad together. You know what they say, misery loves company, and tears are natural lube. <laughs> Maybe I should have called this one shots fired. Now, if your teacher asks what fat means, just tell her you're in touch with your emotions. That way you're technically not lying. Ms. The Sullivan, tissue box is crazy, well. though. Do you want to go pound out some sadness? Speaking of fapping, my next design is life begins at the bona. <laughs> times i had my editor draw the word boner i don't know about I'm that like, one. it needs to look more like a dick at one point he gets fed up and just sends back a real life bbd saying this is what you're looking <laughs> for right <laughs> oh, oh you see this design speaks to me as i currently live in texas where imaginary friends tell people what laws to write and it does make mm. you think where does life really begin because one could argue a stiffy is the first sign of it meaning every time you spank it technically you're committing an atrocity that's not splooge in your trash can it's boneless children speaking of child graves god we all know he loves giving kids cancer but what really makes him hard is the forbidden so get on your knees as i shower you with my next design he has risen <laughs> you don't gotta help you don't bro listen you wear that in a bible belt bruh they're going to uh catch ancestral flashbacks pull up with a white hood on their head and you will be a christmas ornament okay so don't wear that down here, buddy. You're done. I don't believe in it, right? <laughs> Pretty sure that's how it works. Do you like how the devil is looking at Jesus, making sure he's giving consent? Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Speaking of baby carrots, many guys feel like they're inadequate. Mostly because y'all mm. watching too much corn. Corn is like the Olympics of porking. Okay? Stop comparing yourself to freaks. True. That's where my next design comes <laughs> in. Six inches is average. <laughs> his face is so perfect oh like it's average right and his little hand i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> average hand give me that thumbs up oh really happy how this one came out that's funny now, before i get to my last design i want to tell you my favorite joke what's the difference between michael phelps and the hitman uh michael phelps knows how to finish a race and now it's Sam Now, 
sounds horrible, but it really isn't. It doesn't say any race should be finished. It just says Michael Phelps knows how to finish one. You see? Your own assumptions are what make it offensive. Which is the same reaction people have when I show them my favorite t-shirt design, Friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So bro, I swear I see... I feel like I've seen this shirt before. Perfect. Because we're all thinking the same thing. Yet nothing in the picture is actually offensive. Just a bunch of multicultural friends looking to have a good hard time. <laughs> actually, I lied. I have one more design. Well, it's less of a design and more of a life mantra. And that's any hole will do. <laughs> What does that, that mean? No, no, that's not true. It means whatever you want it to mean. That is absolutely some not good, true. Some stinky. We all have to decide which hole fits us best. And with this shirt, you can tell the world that any hole will do. So So if you want to piss off your friends, family, or enemies, then pick up your shirt today at OffensiveSwag.com. That's right, at OffensiveSwag.com. If I had to get one of these shirts, uh, it would probably be the friends one. You can mentally I torture lie. your school bully. Think where your tongue is? I don't know, bro. I don't think that one's provocative enough if I wanted to offend people. I think that's more of like an uncomfortable reality. Like, we're... Hmm... But I think the friends one and live rent free in your crush's head all while supporting your boy because dark twisted humor makes me hard but censorship makes me flaccid and I refuse to dial back any of my jokes because some snowflakes can't handle it. So if you want to support my crusade <laughs> against the bland corporate circle jerk that is the rest of YouTube then pick up your shirt today at OffensiveSwag.com where every shirt is designed to turn heads and hopefully get your head. <laughs> mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that. Now nah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I used to have the offensive shirt I had. I think it was from uh, Zoomies. It was a skateboarding shirt. You know what I'm saying? When I was on my skateboard team. And it said, uh, get your girl off my deck. Right? And then it had like to do with the skateboard. The like um, bathroom mannequin. The bathroom sign with the skateboard. Listen, that got me all the buzz in school, bro. I was him. All right? But listen, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, all the great stuff. I'm scared.